welcome to Eunice at Home. I'm Eunice and I'm so excited to share with you a tour of our updated IKEA Billy bookcase wall. I just finished redecorating and also organizing away a lot of my craft and office supplies, so I'll be sharing some ideas around that as well. So this bookcase wall is basically five of the narrow IKEA Billy bookshelves side by side. And as you can see, it's really tall because we've also added the extension units up on top. And we did this so that the bookcase wall can get as close to the ceiling as possible and that way it looks more built in. When I first decorated these shelves for our office room makeover, it was pretty different. So it was more of like this open concept accent wall. I also played around a lot with colors and as pretty as that was over the last year I started to accumulate a lot of craft supplies and when you've got open shelves it's really easy to place things on it so the bookcase started to attract a lot of clutter The very first thing I knew I wanted were the doors. These are also from Ikea. They go with the Billy bookshelves and they were very easy to install. They came as they are and all you have to do is add the hinges on them and then hook it into the shelf. We also got doors for the extension units that they sell separately at Ikea. The doors came with these small white knobs that I ended up replacing with these antique looking brass ones from Amazon. These are so affordable and I love these so much. They just add so much personality to the doors and I like how they help tie in all of the neutral tones. I really wanted to make the decor this time more neutral, make it look more mature looking, and I really wanted to use some of the things that I thrifted recently. I tried my best to create a lived-in look, so all of the baskets that you see, except for these bottom row ones, are thrifted. This little ceramic piece is one I thrifted recently in Carmel. These two boxes are from Michaels. I got them a long time ago. Boxes like these are so great because they are multifunctional. They can store a lot of things in here. I use these to store all of my extra candles and they just look very pretty. This shell I recently picked up at the beach in Cancun and it's just a nice little thing that reminds me of the great time that we had there. Photos are a great way to add a personal touch and this little wooden box here, it's carved. I thrifted and it matches that larger box up there, which I also thrifted on the same day. I also added in this gray office supply organizer because it matches the other gray elements that we've got going on in here. I thought of not putting it in here at first because, you know, like the pens are very colorful and they don't match, but in the end, I ended up keeping it because I actually do like how it's easily accessible and it adds to like that lived-in look by adding that human factor. <laughs> favorite parts about this update was that we were able to bring up all of these baskets from the bottom row up, giving us more storage space. These boxes are from Target. They are very sturdy. I love the detailing of these handles. They're like pieces of wood. I also like how you can see them through the door and they just add a really nice touch of texture. Let me show you the below. So I used the entire bottom half for storage. I love that these shelves are adjustable. As you can see, the holes on the side, those are all the levels at which you can adjust these shelves. So I really customize them to fit my needs. And down here, just all of my collected decor accessories. We've got frames, bases down here, candle holders, things I've thrifted, things I've DIY'd. Love that I now have this little area to store all of these knickknacks away because they were just piling up in our closet and it was really hard to find where things were. This also feels like a little thrift store now and it's gonna make picking things out for when I do new vignettes really fun. On the right side, we've got all of my craft supplies. Um, let's start from the top left. We've got things that I have 
for our dining table for when we have guests over for tablescaping this is kind of like our paint slash paper zone so i've got like scrapbook material um, and also some extra canvases down here we've got our router jason had the brilliant idea of making a hole on the side so that we can loop the cord in and have all of this in here and I just love how it's hidden. It's funny because I feel heat radiating from this little unit. <laughs> to the right, we've got more craft supplies. I just picked up all these bins from Daiso, my favorite place for bins. If you don't have a Daiso near you, you can check out your dollar store for bins like these. I'll also try to find similar ones online and link it for you below. My favorite thing might be these things right here. They are stackable. And let me just show you what i have got in here these are miscellaneous things like push pins extra staples post-its we've got envelopes and stamps right here um and then down here are all of my washi tapes so colorful and little envelopes for when i want to write a little note that might go with a gift um, as you can see i went ahead and labeled everything i just got my hands on this new label maker from amazon and this thing is just so intuitive to use you literally just type it in and print it out and it also has a little scissor button for cutting out the labels there are some customization features on here too like you can change the font size boldness italic you can also add like underlines or borders around your text and you can also print it out so that your letters are vertically placed when i purchased this instead of getting the labels provided by dymo i just got some generic ones on amazon and these work perfectly fine they are also a lot more affordable than the branded labels i'll make sure to link all of these below for you if you're curious to learn more i like how you can peep into these bins and also see what there is although there is a label it's also nice to just visually know what's in there and then these are obviously see-through so you can clearly see what's in there as well lastly to my very right i've just got all of my camera gear my little camera case laptop case for when i travel lighting i've got extra memory cards lenses and i'm just so happy that this is all behind closed doors now because before i just had it showing in the open and it's just not very aesthetically pretty if you have made it this far let me know below which piece on this wall is your favorite i'm so happy with our updated bookcase wall Ever since making these changes, I found myself re-inspired to use this office room more and to make some other small changes to it. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see more home decor and DIY videos from me. I've got several other videos surrounding our office room. If you'd like some home office decor ideas, we've got the office room makeover. I've got a bookshelf decorating tips video and I've also got a DIY board and batten video for when we did the other wall in this room. I'll make sure to link all of those videos down below for you and as always thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one